YouTube, Model Railroaders, Budget Model Railroaders, and whoever else happens to watch this wonderful brand of nuttiness that I bring what seems to be here lately every week, <laughs> for good, bad, or indifferent. This is going to be vlog number 12 uh, for 2017, and it happens to be Sunday, March the 26th. Um, a couple things I want to go over. Um, I guess first things first. I need to fix the camera, sorry. Um, first things first, right off the bat. Um, <clears throat> been getting a lot of, a lot more messages uh, on my YouTube channel, which is actually a good thing. Um, and I think I may know why. Um, I'm not sure if there's anybody that's watching me that follows Tom's Trains and, th Tom's trains and Things. <sighs> I'll explain something else here in a minute, but anyway, uh, Tom's Trains and Things, uh, Tom Kravidjak, I think that's how he pronounces his last name, sorry if I didn't pronounce that right, Tom, I'm sorry, um, had been talking about um, making sure that your videos are tagged correctly, um, and I actually started going back through, and I actually did all of 2017's vlogs, of course there was only 11 of them to play with, so those are all fixed. Um, I take that back. There were 13, because there was the preview, and then there was the shout-out to Sparky. Um, the thing is, is I went back through and fixed the tags on those, um, so that that actually says HO Scale Trains, and so on and so forth. The description in the vlog is actually, starts out that way. It gives you the vlog number and then tells you what it is, and then it goes actually into, you know, what, what's, what the content is. Um, I'm actually going to be going back through all the vlogs from 2016, and then all the vlogs from 2015, and then back to when I started back in, the, back in December of 2014. So, you know, I'm going to be going back through and, and correcting all that stuff, and making a few updates to the descriptions and things of that nature. It's going to take me a bit, because I've got like 120-some videos, but... Hey, that's what it is. If it's going to fix or help me out going forward, I'm all for it. So, um, and since we're on the, the subject of the view of the, uh, of the, 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 of I do things, and I'm, I'm sure the questions come up, and I'm sure folks have asked, and so on and so forth, and I've already answered, but since I do have some new folks on here, um, I'm actually using an old iPad, um, and that's what I use to record the videos. Now, I think it was in 2015, 2016, I started having issues uploading to YouTube. I don't know why, I don't understand it, it, it I was having all sorts of issues trying to get the videos from point A to point B. So uh, a buddy of mine had given me this little cheap laptop to play with um, and I started using Windows Movie Maker which worked great. I was able to go in there and, and put some things in and do some different little editing bits and pieces and that worked fine for about two three months. Then that stopped working. Um, so I actually went out, my daughter had mentioned it to me, she says, hey, I've got a program on my laptop, she says, maybe we can use the key and we can take and put it on your laptop, and that way, you know, you can use it on yours, well, that didn't work that way, so I ended up paying like 20 some dollars for a video editor, um, it's put out by a company called Wondershare, it's called Filmora, um, I'm not sure if anybody here is uh, actually familiar with that, but that's what I've been using lately. Um, seems to work fairly well. My issue here has been if anybody really pays attention, here it is on Sunday nights I come down here and I ramble for half an hour, for 15 minutes to a half an hour, and then I go ahead and I try to upload. Well, the last couple of times that I've tried to upload, it's taken it four or five tries before it actually gets up to YouTube. I kind of contributed that to my little laptop that I have. I, I, I think... I don't think it was. It's it's actually up to up to up to par for doing that kind of stuff. Obviously, number one, it's a Windows machine. It was never designed to do video editing to begin with. Um, but and it's running Windows 10, which makes things even worse. 
especially since it's one of those little easy PCs, you know, one of them little doodad, you know, don't get me started. Hey, but it was free, so I'm not complaining, so, um, but, you know, the thing of it is, is I, I, I think I finally figured it out, and after the last time having issues, the stuff wasn't getting uploaded until, like, Monday night, late, and then that way it was up Tuesday morning. And it's like, well, this this is ridiculous. If I put it out there, if I'm doing it on Sunday night, why can't I get it up on Sunday, or get it out there on Sunday night? So, um, I'm going to try something a little bit different this week with that computer and see if I can get it to, to play nicely with YouTube. <laughs> And I think a lot of the things that happen with the uh, with the iPad and then the stuff is when Google and YouTube started making moves and you well, know, I'm not going to get into that either. But anyway, so that's been that's been the fun there. Um, the uh, what I was what I kind of skipped over is is um, yesterday I spent well it was the first nice day we've had well not the first nice day but. It, it was a really nice day outside here in, in Maryland yesterday, so I was uh, working on a project that I had been wanting to do for uh, probably about six months uh, outside. I went ahead and re-ran some electrical, which ended up being more of a pain in the butt than what I thought it was going to be. Unfortunately, I think I've got my father's luck when it comes to projects. Oh yeah, hon, it'll only take me a couple hours, you know, three days later, and you know, it's done. <laughs> so here it is, I had half the railroad room tore apart down here, and it, yeah, yeah, what, what it looked like was going to be easy, just, you know, be able to, no. No, because the last Harry homeowner that decided he was going to run electric outside did it in such a way that it was like, oh, I've never seen things so screwy in my life. Well, you know, of course, then again, I'm sure somebody will come behind me and go, what the heck was this guy thinking? But anyway, so I'm a little bit sore today because I was, I had to take up half or part of my deck and I had to pull wires and you know, I'm just... I'm not a happy camper, let's put it that way. Today I basically sat around and, and did very little because I'm sore. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, it is it's it, it is what it is. So tonight I'm not going to get into a whole lot of anything down here. And obviously crawling around on the floor is not going to happen. <laughs> my, my legs are not going to handle that. Um, but... Um, you know, I happen to think I was going to talk about the uh, the, tr the the infamous trolley line down here, but I'm not going to get into that tonight because I have to. I have some other things that I want to do with it first. Um, but uh, a couple of the other things, I know I had a mail call a while back. I've got a whole bunch of cars sitting here on my uh, workbench that need car cards, and I I actually got one over here. I just happen to notice it doesn't have any type of markings or numbers or anything on it, I have to get that one numbered up, but that's okay. Um, I've still got the mashup sitting here on the desk, on the workbench, and of course, I was telling somebody the other night, yeah, I went ahead and was going to start working on it, but then I realized that my razor saw wasn't going to cut the plastic, so I went out and got myself some more Dremel, Dremel discs, so that I could actually go ahead and cut the thing down, and, well, I haven't gotten there yet, either. <laughs> And I have something special planned for, for when I actually do start cutting into that thing, and I'll let that be a surprise when I get there. Um, but I'm just not there yet. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, um, another matter. Uh, not quite sure where to go with this one. Because it kind of bugs the living heck out of me, but at the same token, it's it, it, it's not something that I know what a lot of us don't rule about. Well, but actually, any about everybody's got control over it. But um, I've noticed a trend lately, and it's kind of kind of pushing me away. And um, there's a, of course, I'm sure I mentioned it before. I'm a part of a bunch of different. Uh, railroad groups on on YouTube, or I'm sorry, on Facebook. Um, there's the HO scale model railroaders, the Maryland area model railroaders, uh, the YouTube model builders, uh, the Tyco. There's a couple of Tyco pages, and I'm a part of. I'm a part of a um, 
uh, an older group uh, or a group with uh, with older style locomotives, uh, namely the Varneys and the the Ravels and and then the manufacturers that don't exist anymore um, that were bought out by whoever or their molds were transferred over to another company. Um, but and of course the budget model railroaders. But one of the things that's become uh, a little disheartening. And, I mean, everybody's got their own thing. I, I, I get it. I, I understand that. And like I said, I mean, here it is. I've got this thing off to my right. And looking back years ago, one of the things that got kind of pushed me away for a while was politics. And not only the politics, but there's people out there, and it, it doesn't matter where you go and what you do, but... You know, there's there's people out there that that want to push, and you know, I'll never forget years ago I was on a um on a um, bulletin board for model railroading, and I had put up a couple of pictures of what I had, and immediately got blasted for it. And I'm like, I thought that we were supposed to be in this together. Okay. So I dropped it. You know, I just kind of decided, well, I'll just be a lone wolf and go out on my own. Well, and then, you know, the heart now, the coming up to today, you know, here it is. Yeah, I'm a part of all these different groups and so on and so forth, and we have a blast. But it seems like within the last week or so, as if normal real life wasn't a problem, you know, then we got people that come into these groups, and I have a feeling I know what's going on, because unfortunately I'm a mod. well, I'm not going to say unfortunately, but I'm a moder moderator of a group as well. It happens to be for a Facebook game, of all things. But I was, I got tagged to be an admin, I guess it was about three, four months ago. And it's not an easy job, and anybody that has to do it, I, I commend them. You know, it's like, yeah, great. But the problem is, is that you end up with somebody that comes into the group, causes problems, so you boot them. And then they go ahead and they start a new profile, and then they go ahead and they come back in and they start problems again. So you boot them. And it just keeps, it's just a, revolve, it's just a revolving door. And then, if it isn't them, they've got contacts with somebody who's still in, and they get them to start causing problems or use their login. And it's like, Really? I mean, like I said, this this hobby is supposed to be fun, and we're all in, we're all individualists. We're all doing this at our own pace, the way we like it, the way we want to do it. And it, granted, I mean, like I said, I've sat here before, and I'll say it again. I am by no means a professional model railroader with the thing that I've got sitting over here. In fact, this thing isn't even a model railroad as far as I'm concerned. It's still a toy. However, I've done things to try and turn it, and every time I take it apart and rebuild it, it gets a little bit better, it gets a little bit better, and now I'm to the point where I want to take it down and redo it yet again. That's fine. We learn. You know, like I said, I've been in and out of the hobby for about 40 years, so I'm still learning, and every time I tear it apart and rebuild it, I learn. And I also learn by watching other YouTubers and by going into these groups and seeing what they're doing. And that's what it's all about. And yet we get these idiots in there that want to just do nothing but stir the pot. And, of course, what happens, too, is you've got people that have been a part of these groups that are trying to help keep the peace. And, of course, then they're to the point where they're just like, you know what, the heck with it. And it's a darn shame. It's actually a darn shame that we've got, that there's people out there like that. And, you know, whatever. I... I you know, it, it, it's gotten to the point where I may end up dropping some of the groups because I, it's just gotten it's just gotten out of hand. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see where it goes. You know, I, I, I don't want to because I've learned quite a bit from some of those groups. But at the same token, I, I've got enough I've got enough goofy stuff going on. I don't need any help in that department. <laughs> so. um there was something else I wanted to mention. Now I can't think of what the heck it was. It sucks getting old. <laughs> Actually, um, on a more serious note, I did see something earlier. Um, 
I'm not sure if it was on YouTube or if it was on Facebook, but uh, apparently uh, Vinny, being a, yeah, Vinny, uh, you know, Vinny Vids, uh, BN, BNSF6951, I think is what his number or his YouTube handle is. I'll, I'll find it and I'll put it in the description. Um, apparently his, uh, his mom passed away. Um, apparently he had been helping to take care of her for a while and his mom just passed away. So, um, con condolences to, uh, Vinny and his family. We're, we're praying for you and get you through that, th this tough time. And, um, I know what it's like, you know, I, I, I lost my mom in, in 2015, it's hard to believe it. it's been almost two years, but, um, you know, I, I know I, it's a tough thing to go through, um, you know, especially when you're not prepared for it, but, um, and I don't know what the, the details and all were, but, uh, you know, uh, so, um, and on that note, um, really got nothing else and I'm up to 16 minutes so you all know the deal wait for the highball green tracks ahead god bless we'll catch you all next time have a good one be safe out there